Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create two controllers, one for our articles and one for our author. Now, if we go to the app folder right here under HTTP, this one right here, under controllers, you will see we've got an auth folder for anyone that's new. In order to create this folder with all the, uh, basically the classes in there, there's basically handled authentication, we use Laravel Breeze to do that. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to create a new folder in here called API. And inside that folder, we want to do versioning like version one and then the controller's name. All right, so open up your terminal. All right, and in order to create a controller in Laravel, we just do PHP artisan and we said make, all right? And then we can just say controller. Now in this case, since I want to create a controller, I can do just control article controller like this but it will not put it in any folder so to create the folder we just do api and then we do version one so let's say you want to have a newer version of your api you can just do version two but in this case we're just creating from scratch so that will be version one then after that we can just add the article controller like this okay now if we create it like this, it will create no methods in them. So we have to create all the methods we want ourselves in that controller. All right, but if we don't want to do that, we can actually do a route model binding uh, with a dash M, and then we can add article like this. So what this will do, it will create seven methods inside there for us. Let me quickly create them for you. Right, so as it currently stands, what it will do, it will create an index method, a create, a store, a show, edit, and an update, and a delete. But since this is an API, we don't need to return the view of the, for the create and the edit. So those ones we don't need to include. So basically, we only want these methods to be there for correct application. The index, store, show, update, and deletes, because we don't want to return any view for the create and the edit. Now, in order to do that, we can just add the dash dash API. So what that will do, it will create basically this methods for us. All right, so let's quickly do that. So if I press enter, you can see it created the API folder. Inside that, it created the version one, and then we have our article controller right here so let me just close the terminal so as you can see we got our index we got our store and then we got our show now as you can see it route model binded to the article like this and then for update you will see we got an article right there with the request and then the destroy with the route model binding right there okay but as you can see it doesn't include the create in the edit Right, so the other one, let's create another controller. Now this one is responsible basically for our author. So what I'm going to do, since I'm not going to create any methods in there, so we're just going to do author, controller, just like this, or you can make it invocable, uh, basically controller, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to return a show view inside the author controller. So if I press enter, so as you can see, it created the author controller right there okay so let me just quickly open up the author controller i will not save that the author controller i'm just going to create the method so just create a method called show and then we route model bind the user the user like this all right so what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to create basically two resources one for the article resource because what we want to do is we want to uh, basically send links for the article so we the person can actually go to the different links inside the article and some metadata as well so the, the resource can basically where we can customize what of data we're going to send to the client and we're going to do that in the next episode for the article and then we also want to create a resource basically for our author so that's what we're going to do in the next episode all right so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one Adiós.